college soccer might not get much attention, but it has a lively fan base and more importantly, some small but high quality venues. Here are 10 amazing college soccer stadiums. Oh, and we won't be including stadiums that are primarily for American football. Alice Field, Texas A&M Aggies. Not far away is one of the biggest stadiums in the world, and while this mightn't be quite as impressive, it's in the same elite category within its respective college sport. The main stand is entirely made up of chairback seats, and they're all undercover, which is something that Kyle Field can't boast. The rest of the stadium is quite basic to be fair, but there's plenty of that signature maroon about the place for good measure. Morrison Stadium, Creighton Blue Jays. I never understood the obsession with Blue Jays. I prefer the red ones, or maybe a dark gray. Omaha might be small, but it has some great stadiums, including the biggest minor league baseball stadium, and what might be the most impressive college soccer stadium. It features a stunning exterior made from brick, stone, and more. Also a sizable roof canopy with chairback seats underneath. And on the other side, there's grass terracing, which is like an upgraded grass berm. But unlike that grass, the field isn't real. That is quite common in college soccer, however. GCU Stadium, Grand Canyon Antelopes. With a name like Grand Canyon University, I, I was just, I was expecting something else. At least it's in the same state as the Grand Canyon. Once more, most of the capacity is coming from one big stand. This too has a big roof canopy. But purple seats this time, which scientifically speaking is the best colour for stadium seats. On the other sides, it's enclosed by other school buildings. But there's also this little section of benches that is the student section. They're known as the Havocs, and boy do they reek. To be clear, that's W-R-E-A-K. I don't know how they smell. Lakeside Field, Northwestern Wildcats. The stadium itself is probably the most simple you'll see in this video, consisting of the one uncovered stand and, well, nothing else. But yeah, it's more about the location right on the edge of... Uh, is that the ocean or a lake? Lakeside Field, Lakeside Field, Lakeside okay, Field, yes. Lakeside I Field, yep. okay, Lakeside that's enough. Field. I get it. Thankfully, they don't play in the middle of winter. It's cold in Chicago regardless, but I can imagine it getting ridiculously cold right by the lake. Harder Stadium. Not to be confused with Better Stadium, Faster Stadium, or Stronger Stadium. It's home to the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. You might be a little surprised to hear that this is one of the most revered stadiums in college soccer, because in terms of amenities, it's nothing special. But what it's best known for can't be seen in these shots. It's the game day atmosphere. Having one of the larger capacities and one of the more successful teams playing here certainly helps with that. It also has a rather nice backdrop of the Rocky Mountains over there. Not THE Rocky Mountains, just... Just some mountains that are rocky. Dr. Mark and Cindy Lynn Stadium, Louisville Cardinals. The main stand features a nice metallic facade and covered chairback seats throughout. This stand to the east has uncovered benches, but it does however seem to replicate the stand on their American football counterpart, which I assume has something to do with the cardinal bird. Could be their tail, could be the formation they fly in, could just be the bird's favorite shape. Nah, it's my tail, mate. I'm more of a hexagon person myself. Uh, okay, thanks. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah. The rest of the field is surrounded by grass, there's a rather large video board, and there's even a jumping castle. Fun for the whole family. Stone Stadium, South Carolina Gamecocks. In terms of the actual structure, it's minimal. But the one and only stand does stretch the entire length of the pitch, and about half of the seats are of the chairback variety. I also quite like how the rest of the field is surrounded by trees. 
the natural habitat of the gamecock, probably. Wait, no, a gamecock is basically a chicken, isn't it? But they obviously weren't going to put a bunch of cages around the field. The wide world of stadiums supports the caged hen industry. Chappie Field, Chappie Field, Sharpe Field, at Anderson Stadium, Providence Friars. Having opened in 2016, it's the newest stadium you'll see in this video, and it certainly looks it. Although it's quite small, it actually includes two luxury suites, a decent video board in the northeastern corner, and unlike Morrison Stadium, they fully committed to artificial turf, by even covering this little embankment at the southern end in it. Fifth Third Bank Stadium, Kennesaw State Owls. I think is the only stadium in this video to have featured on this channel before. And that is because it's also home to their American football team. But given that soccer was played here before American football, it's also home to Atlanta United too, and it even includes some terraces, a staple in some parts of Europe, I think it definitely counts as a soccer specific stadium. It features a very interesting exterior on the western side, and perhaps my favourite feature is the hedges over here. Isn't that cute? First Energy Stadium, Cub Cadet Field, Akron Zips. I normally don't like it when they insist on having a separate name for the stadium and the field, especially when they're both named after a corporation. But what better sponsor of a field than a lawnmower manufacturer? The synergy is perfect. It must be stipulated in the contract that they can never switch to synthetic turf though. Anyway, it's a well put together stadium and the crowd is always quite boisterous. And those were 10 of the best college soccer stadiums going round. Did I miss any you thought should have been included? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, have a good one.